One. When should the woman phone Mr. Hashimoto? Linda, Mr. Hashimoto called again. Oh no! When was that? Around eleven o'clock. He's got a meeting at three o'clock, so can you call him at two,、uh, not later? He said it's very important. I know, I know. Two. Which chart shows graduate recruitment for this year? We've attracted a lot of graduates into engineering this year, with similar numbers entering sales. But we must look at research. This year, our recruitment there has been very low. We'd prefer equal numbers to enter both that and engineering. Three. What do both speakers think the company needs to review? These figures aren't good. No, the MDs asked us for recommendations. I think we need to look at prices and to find a way to improve quality. But our quality control's excellent.、Mm. I agree about the charges, though. Maybe we don't deliver fast enough. Well, we're better than our competitors. Okay. Well, we agree on one thing. <laughs> Four. Which graph is the speaker referring to? And share prices have finished the three-month period at their lowest point, in spite of rising sharply in the first month and remaining fairly steady for a few weeks. Five. What is the subject of the seminar? Welcome to today's seminar. Our speaker is Susanna Jones. Thank you, John. As managers, I know you're all extremely busy. Constantly having deadlines to meet is stressful. But don't pass that stress on to staff. Having recruited and trained good staff, it's essential to be able to communicate your message effectively. So, what I'm going to suggest today. Six. Which number should you press to discuss payment? Hello, this is Wesley Electronics. If you would like a copy of our new catalog, press one. If you have an inquiry about an invoice, press two. If you would like to report a technical fault or speak to a service engineer, press three. Seven. What does the woman want information about? Please leave a message after the beep. This is Barbara Newman. Thanks for the flight details. The thing is, I've got to stay overnight now, so I need a hotel and a car. Actually, I'm hiring a car at the airport, so it's just accommodation details. Can you fax me some information? Eight. What does the man order? Hello, this is Turner's Limited. I'm ringing to order more stationery. We need thirty packets of A4 paper. Oh yes, good morning. Would you like your company name on the top? I think plain will be fine.、Uh, what about envelopes? They're half price at the moment. Um. Okay. Um. Could you put thirty packets of those in as well then? Thanks. Part two. Thank you for calling the FCR customer care line. Please speak clearly, spelling your name and including a daytime phone number. Hello, I'm phoning from Norton Department Store.、Uh, that's Norton spelt N A U G H T O N, and I'd like to order some brochures.、Uh, my name's Roger Woods、uh, with an E. That's、uh, W. Double O D E S. I'm in the home electrical department, and my direct line is O one eight seven three 
four five double three three nine. Right. What we need urgently is your fridge and freezer brochure. We've run out of the hundred you sent us, so we'd like two hundred and fifty more. And please include the price list. Half a dozen copies of that should be enough.、Uh, no,、uh, make it eight, could you? Also, I have a question about your dishwashers. In the new brochure for those, there's no reference to the JQ one six five model, but it shows the new JQ one six eight, which looks similar but is wider. Have you stopped making the earlier one? I've got a customer who wants to buy it, or another model of the same width. It's five nine zero millimeters instead of the usual six hundred, which she needs to fit in a particular space. Could someone call me back as soon as possible about this? Thank you. Part three. Well, I've got a few things to tell you about this morning. I know some people aren't here yet, but let's start anyway. We haven't got much time before we open. The first thing is, we've appointed a new assistant manager to replace John Black when he leaves next month. John's replacement is Amanda Hill from the Oxford branch. I'm sure you'll enjoy working with her, and I hope she'll have your full support. Now, with the opening of the new sportswear department, we have a number of vacancies at senior level. If you are a member of the junior sales staff and you are interested in applying for one of these senior positions, see personnel. Moving on, some of you in the stockroom complained about the way stock is handled, and I'm pleased to say head office have agreed to update the software we use to make the process more efficient, and that'll be installed in a few weeks. Still no news on the stockroom management training, but for those of you in the creative design team who are responsible for the shop displays, there's a one-week course on window display. This will be held at head office, and we're allowed to send four of you. Anyone in the team interested in going on this course, speak to your supervisor at the end of this meeting. Finally, some news of an important visit. Our chairman is coming to this store next month. He wants to meet as many of you as possible, so he'll be with us all day. That's on the thirteenth of July. He's going to make a tour of the sales areas in the morning, and talk to senior managers in the afternoon about the company's export policy. There'll also be the opportunity to ask any questions you may have. Part four. The motor industry may be having a hard time in some areas, but at ALC, a small vehicle plant in the UK, business has never been better. I have with me today ALC's managing director, Michael Wright. Michael, your company has a long history, doesn't it? Yes, ALC began life as a small workshop that specialised in fixing lorries that had broken down, before moving into making lorry components for garages, doing repairs. Then later on, the company went on to design and build special vehicles according to customers' requirements.、Hmm. And when did you join the company? In the nineteen eighties, after a career in engineering, I wanted something different, and I'd always been interested in production. So I came in to manage that side of the business. Some time later, a, a couple of colleagues invited me to become a director. What was the company like when you joined the board? Well, we'd begun lorry production, but business was slow.、Mm. Uh, then one of our existing customers was considering offering us a much larger contract. Talks were just beginning with them when I began as a director. It suited us perfectly because if they guaranteed us a lot of work, we could invest in new equipment. So, what was your plan? Well, I proposed working with our main competitor, so that instead of producing the whole vehicle ourselves, we could get some of the lorry parts from them, and add our own special components here to build lorries to suit this customer's requirements. But、uh, I never thought it would be so successful. <laughs> we can now produce one vehicle every fifty-three minutes. <laughs> And next, you turn to ambulance production. Well, we soon decided we needed to expand our customer base by developing another product of our own. 
So we started working on a design for producing a new line in ambulances. Economic changes aren't as much of a problem as they are for manufacturers of other types of vehicles. Ambulances will always be needed.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, did you have any problems? Well, yes.、Uh, at that time, one supplier had the monopoly of the entire market. But as our prices have always been very competitive, that's helped us to win customers from them. Since then, we've developed our own market and got several contracts to produce ambulances for major organisations. And I've read that your company organisation is rather different. Well, management on the production and development side is strong, and we all work well as a team. But what is different is that we've achieved our success without a marketing manager. I look after all that with my two fellow directors. It's obviously working. Turnover will be up again next year, and that's just the beginning. <laughs> It all sounds too good to be true. Don't you have any problems? Well, we have a strong balance sheet and a satisfactory cash flow. But yes, we do have our problems. We need another twenty people, and there aren't any suitably qualified people living locally. Ah. There are trained workers in other parts of the country looking for jobs, but we found they're not willing to move here. And we're certainly not going to move. We like it here too much. <laughs> well, I hope you manage to sort it out. Thank you for talking to us, Michael. Thank you.